Hi, I'm the Technician, and today I'll be showing you how to attach a joystick to a cable, attach the cable to a control valve. Today, we're going to be attaching the cable to the float valve here, which is this longer one, and show you how that's done. We've got two crescent wrenches and an Allen wrench, two sizes, small, bigger, should fit. Then we've got our Allen wrench. This is a 6 seconds Allen wrench, which will fit in these screws and these ones. Now, to begin, you're going to grab your cable, you're going to grab your large nut and put that on top first. Okay, then you're going to grab this interesting looking bit, put that on, and now your long metal sleeve and twist that on top. You're going to twist it past the thread so it just slides nicely onto the main cable. Okay, now that you got that screwed on, you're going to grab your joystick, come on to the other end of the cable, the one with the pointy end, and there should be threaded piece like that. You're going to grab your joystick, you're going to unscrew one of these, it shouldn't matter, it just, all that affects is which way this goes affects the valve. So it matters. You can grab your small crescent wrench and take one of those out. Keep track of the screw and nut later. You'll need them. Now that you've got that open, you're going to this is in better position. Going to grab this and you're going to bend the lever so that this piece comes forward easier. Like that. You're going to hold that in place and you're going to thread your cable into that. Now I'm going to use a smaller crescent wrench to tighten this one. Okay, boom. That's like that. Now if you got that on, you're going to grab a metal piece, slide it up in there, and you're going to try and get this divot lined up with this hole and basically you just shove it in there. Grab your screw, put it in the hole, grab your nut, put it in the other one, and tighten her down. As you can see here, it's not coming out anytime soon. After that step, you're going to grab your 3 16 Allen wrench and take these two screws out. Specifically, we're doing the flow valve, which is just this, this one right here. Now that you got that out, you can go back to your cable, grab, or first you grab a bolt, your nut, and put that on the cable first. You're going to grab your other bolt and this golden piece here, put the bolt inside, and twist that onto your cable. Now got it on, twist the golden piece, like so. And now that you've got it in place like that, you're going to grab your 7 16 wrench and tighten the bottom bolt up. Bam. Stick my Allen wrench in there. Nope, can't do that. Just tighten it real good so that that way 
That way your cable doesn't have room to shift or do anything weird like that. Now, since you got this off, you can take your newly assembled piece and put it on to your valve. I'm gonna twist it. Actually, does that work? Yes, that'll work for now. I'm gonna slide it on top like that. Grab your pin. I'm gonna slide this one through the band like that. Now I can twist it. Boom. Grab my cotter pin and slide this one through. This one can be a bit finicky, so do your best, grab a pliers and whatnot. Okay, then just bend both sides back so it's not going anywhere. Looks we'll like I might have to trim that so I can put the metal sleeve on later. Okay, there. Now you come over to the other end of your cable grab these pieces you put on at the beginning, you're going to slide your sleeve on first. Okay. Now, here's where things get a bit interesting. Come over to your joystick. And you're trying to get this into neutral, so the joystick should be parallel as possible. Here, so if we turn it in too tight, we can start to see the joystick move like that, so it's not parallel. Try and exemplify it more, like that. So you want it to be straight up and down, not at this weird degree. So you're just gonna loosen it until until it is neutral and parallel with the rest of itself. Okay. But you do want it just at that right point, not so much that it starts moving, but just enough that it's tight and won't go anywhere. Like that, I'd say that's pretty good. Now you're going to make sure this, this piece is lower than the actual bolt, which you can do by just sliding it through. I don't know how that happened. Like that. You're going to put your bolt on place to lock your metal sleeve in place. Well, grab your wrenches. Like that. Oh. No, it's not going anywhere. Okay, now you can grab this piece and your two black screws. Shouldn't matter which way this is oriented, as long as it fits, it fits. I'm gonna put both screws in like so. Now, I should warn you, as you're doing this, the ears can bend, so don't go crazy on the tightening. Just enough that it won't move and that this, the screws won't come out. Allen wrench. Give them a basic tightening. That one might have gone too far, but we'll see once we tighten the other one. Tight, pretty good. Make sure the other one's tight. Oh yeah, that one's good. Boom, there's that. And that should basically everything you need to know to assemble joystick to the cable to your control valve. Now that we have this attached to the float valve, we should be able to 
move it from side to side like this, like so, get it locked in place. However, since we don't really have this locked down, we don't have enough leverage to really get that float valve in place, but it will work if you do have it on your whole mounting system.